I, I would I would also agree uh, that um, uh, there is you know much to be learned when my from what I call in my book after liberalism bourgeois liberalism, which is essentially you know the idea of the nineteenth century bourgeoisie, uh, which I'm defending in that book and the uh, the dissolution or the end of which I deplore. But uh, the more I look at the people whom I like to see in power, when whom I identify socially, uh, it seems to me that their understanding of society was not very profound. Uh, the, the the people who I and I would agree the people who have the profound understanding are the Machiavellians, uh, whom mm. Burnham talks about, because uh, yeah. they understand the the necessity of elites and they understand modern mass society. Uh, and also, I think the counter revolutionaries uh, of the 18th and early 19th, of the, of the early 19th centuries, the people reacting against the French Revolution, like Burke, Albrecht von Halle, Mestre, um, uh, von Savigny later, um, they, they, these people, I think, have a deep, uh, uh, the Noso Cortes in Spain, they have a deep understanding, um, why say, of the limits of human nature. And of the fact that most people are incapable of being free according to modern, certainly according to modern democratic concepts. They need authority structure and they need to be integrated into the community uh, to become fully human. Uh, and I think we, we learn this from conservatives and to some extent, even Marx, who for me is not the ultimate villain. In fact, I probably like Locke less than Marx. Uh, because Marx at least has some kind of uh, uh, understanding, however impaired it may be, uh, of man's corporate nature, that he has to live in society, that he's a social creature, uh, that he comes out of, you know, a a, a pre-existing context. He does not create himself um, uh, around property rights or anything like that. so uh, I, I, I think in trying to understand, you know, w- human nature, if we can use that term, um, mm-hmm. I'm probably much closer to Aristotle and French and German counter-revolutionaries in Burke uh, than I would be to the 19th century liberals whose rule in the 19th century I praise in my book after liberalism. 